Estou toda arrepiada, um sacode. Como é que é, meus amigos? Aqui com vocês é Ruben Alves Pai, que sejam todos muito bem-vindos a um novo episódio de The Walking Dead. Desse lado, espero que estejam tudo bem com vocês em casa, espero que estejam tudo bem com a vossa família, com os vossos amigos e com os vossos animais de estimação. Vamos então dar início aqui a um novo episódio de The Walking Dead. Venham daí amigos, let's go guys! No episódio passado tivemos nada mais nada menos do que o plano, tivemos ali a ver o, o plano para ir resgatar a Violet e todos os nossos amigos e outros que pertencem à escola que agora estão lá no barco, uh, que é o caso da Minerva uh, e outros que, que nós não conhecemos, né? uh, vamos até lá, pedimos ajuda ao James, o James ajudou-nos, né? como é óbvio, vocês repararam no fim do episódio passado. Vamos então ver o que é que se irá passar neste episódio. Venham daí, amigos, bora lá! Ah, sacode! Bora, 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 bora! Estou super empolgado! Bora! You said there might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. It oh, sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. Eu acredito que haja algo ali. Depois do que nós vimos, né? Claro que o barulho atrai o sempre. I mean, he's tough. Not like you though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. What the hell is a hoot nanny? <laughs> It's just another way of saying party. Ah. I know it sounds strange. Yeah, I'm kind of off, yeah. People need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be her last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. É bom que eles se entretenham todos, né? Porque não tem mais volta. I'm gonna make the deck. Uh, the decor. Decoration. A decoration for the party. Ok, I'll get the heater. 
os uh, seus colecionáveis antes de sair. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Ok, be right there. Para estar a dar essa dica dos colecionáveis antes de sair, significa que a gente já não volta mais, né? Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? Huh? There are alive people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters eyes aren't even wet. And then there are alive people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I wish what we did felt good. Part of me wants to like it. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. <laughs> okay. What are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. Well, first, it would suck, like, big time. And then... I'd have to nom nom eat you, little boy. <laughs> Stop. AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I don't want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., if you have a gun, you shoot me. If you don't, you use your knife. No knife, a rock to the head, as many times as you have to. I said I don't wanna. I don't care what you said. You will do it. I don't care what you say. God damn it, AJ. <sighs> promessa, promessa, velho. You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Hey, little man. Hi, Louis. I'm going on patrol. Patrolling's a thing.
que é que foi, Luis? O que é que se passa? I was wondering. Well, I can't help but thinking. You shot that raider who grabbed me, but you saw them take Violet too, which means you could have saved Violet and not me. Why? Why would you pick me? I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. Hell, I don't know anyone who would have picked me. Violet Strong, if anyone can survive being kidnapped, she can. I probably wouldn't have even made it to the boat. They would have killed me halfway through the woods. Lewis, I didn't mean it like that. It's okay. You're not wrong. I know I'm always teasing her, trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does. You know the one. Where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full body eye roll. I do it because... When I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. Hey, we're going to get them back, Louis. Yeah, damn right we will. Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! Think fast. Ouch! Mesmo na cabaça. Big hug. I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. Eu amo vos os dois. Okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Nem quero imaginar como é que isto acaba. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah, we still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? God no! I want to actually attend this thing. Then how? Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. You guys have any classical? You bet. Ha! <sighs> a woman after my own heart. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like... We're gonna get through this. Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. E vamos. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so... Something to compliment that, maybe? Let's deck this place out in green. It'll look like we're trying to summon leprechauns. And before you ask, leprechauns are too hard to explain and don't really exist. <laughs> I'll make it happen. <laughs> this uh... place is gonna look great. And these malukes. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. 
He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. O AJ todo fascinado a olhar para para os giradiscos. Hey Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're going to be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. Toma, mas é cuidado, velho, senão ainda vamos todos pelos ares. Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Chega já diz assim, Ten, amigo, peço imensa desculpa. Peço sem querer, não queria. Great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but Danieli. Oh, yeah, let's name this fucker. Willie Jr. Vingança da Ruby, obra prima do Mitch. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay. Then it's settled. Eu chamava lhe o Tenili. I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. <laughs> so what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission us. together, we might as well know who we really are. So I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Hey, oh, Louis. Uh, Louis? Physical altercations? Have you met me? That's Ruby's file. <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? 
Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. <laughs> Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. Por isso é que ele é tão magro, velho. Ah, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted, when I wanted it. Except for one thing, singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know? Those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. E foste brincar com os sentimentos da tua mãe que ainda foi pior. I came here the week after. I can see by your face you regret it. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words. But 
Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. Eu entendo o desgosto deles. Não é fácil. This is for you, Minnie. Ele toca para caraças. Estou todo arrepiado. Tocas muito, velho. Tocas muito. Bem, meus amigos, vamos ficar por aqui neste episódio. Espero que tenham gostado. Já sabem como é que é arrebentar com o like, subscrever o canal se não são subscritos, partilhar o canal com a vossa família e amigos. A próxima parte será, quase certeza, a parte em que nós atacamos o barco. Vamos ver o que é que irá acontecer. Eu irei gravar já de seguida essa parte. E vamos rezar para que tudo corra bem. Né, meus amigos? Já sabem como é que é arrebentar com o like, subscrever o canal se não são subscritos, partilhar o canal com a vossa família e amigos. Daqui com vocês foi Ruben Alves Boica. Um muito obrigado por tudo. A sério. Um muito obrigado por tudo. Vemo-nos amanhã para um novo episódio de A Plague Tale Innocence. Ok, meus amigos? Até à próxima e fui! Obrigado! Haha! <risos>